Okay, so for the, again, for those of you that are going to watch later, if you're just joining in, please say hello by typing in the chat. Um, this is the older section. Again, I'm going home now, so um, I'm taking you back a different route than I started. But as you can see, this is still the same cemetery, garden style, beautiful. Uh, great to walk in. As a matter of fact, you may see some people walking. Um, I'm not the only one in here. And I don't mean that as a, as a joke. Um, here's a good view of what I mean by a garden cemetery. It's very large and laid out. Um, paths, beautiful paths. Um, there's one of the very wooden hidden paths. Um, yes, there's traffic. This isn't a very quiet neighborhood with the exception of the people that are in here. Um, across the street is, well, this building over here is the mausoleum. You can't really see it, but there's a building across the street. That's the mausoleum. This is the chapel and the offices. So like when somebody dies and the funeral home calls the church to find out where the funeral's gonna be or the funeral home or whatever, and then they contact the church, the cemetery, that is who you talk to, is whoever's in that office. Um, and they handle all the burial records. Uh, so in the case that for some reason the cemetery ever runs out of room, uh, which is doubtful, um, although it will happen eventually, I'm sure, since everyone's going to die sometime, um, they would eventually just close the cemetery, but the records would move to whoever takes over. Um, it's more like, for example, if the church would close, um, that owns this beautiful cemetery, which is St. Marie's. Again, doubtful, because the church is huge. But, um, if the church would ever close, the cemetery could stay independent, or it could move over to another church. Um, beautiful statuary. You can see the white one over there in the corner. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go give you guys a little bit of a... I'm trying to beat the clouds because there's some gray above me. But I'm not too worried. It's not going to kill me. So this is this Jelena's Bejeweled Stone. Uh, very, very detailed. Here, I'll try to get a, a, a good... Uh, thing for you. Um, man, that Mary's not that interesting. It's typical. Uh, again, this is a Catholic cemetery, so lots of Catholic themed stones, crosses, statues, Catholic sayings. It's a French cemetery as well. Here's another one. Similar idea. Um, although this one looks more bored than sad, but uh, this is the Cody stone. Every time I stop by this stone, the clouds are always around her. Very interesting. Um, just kind of doubles up on my thought of it being sad or, or dreary. Um, let's see, we already did that side on the old periscope. So this is kind of the other way. Um, I usually walk the whole cemetery. And then this time I figured I'd bring some periscopers along with me. Three, hey, that's about the same number I had earlier. It's a very large cemetery and many, many stories. You could easily spend the whole day here. Well, I have been here since noontime, so yeah. Uh, this is the Bissonette stone. Very interesting. This is like the break between modern and elder older. Uh, it's still in the oldish section. But it's beginning to become more modernized. As you can tell by the way Bissonette is spelled in different shapes. <laughs> Coming up, you can barely see it. I'll get closer. This stone, the one that kind of looks funky. 
Stone used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid. And I'll show you why. Uh, I'm better now, but it used to scare the crap out of me. Um, believe it or not, the, the person with her head down... Well, she does have a face. I always thought she didn't. But, you know, when you're looking from this angle, you never realize that she has a face. And you think her face is in her hands. It used to scare the living daylights out of me when I was younger. This one is one of my favorites. Yes, I'm getting a little winded because I've been walking this whole cemetery all day, so. Um, plus, I'm dealing with allergies. So, those two don't mix usually. This is the fun off stone. Um, portrays the agony in the garden, which is a very um, important thing for Catholics. Um, here's a close up of it. For those of you that ordered my book, although not everybody on here knows who the hell I am, um, I wrote a book on cemeteries and that is on the first page of my book in fuller detail. Whew. Legs are starting to hurt. This is a cool one. Another example of modern versus um, regular old old fashioned cemetery stone. Here's another big pillar one. Um, pillars are very popular in garden styles. A champagne. Very pretty. You will see people walking their dogs in here and I don't have a problem with that as long as they pick it up. But let's face it, most people don't. There's her entrance if you want to enter through the old section. There's also three more entrances as you go down the road. Again, just an example of how big this cemetery really is. Uh, and there's also a hidden entrance which I use uh, because it's easier to walk on than this busy street that you can hear, clearly tell is busy from all the cars. The entrance that I take is technically a closed entrance, although the gate does stay open. Um, but a lot of people don't know that it's there because it's not used as much anymore. Because that section of the cemetery is officially full. Unless you've already purchased a plot, which most people that have been buried there are already gone. My grandmother was buried in that section. She died in 1953 at the age of 23. So I always start and end my walks with a visit to her, but since I'm talking with you, I may or may not stop again. Um, although that would make a great ending. Here's another big one. And I have to actually be quiet as I get towards the other end, because as you can see, the cemetery is surrounded by houses. So people might think that I'm a little odd talking into my phone while walking a cemetery. Uh, but we've already seen this part since I walked at the beginning over there. Um, so for you three that joined me, although technically it's two because I'm included, uh, thanks for enjoying this two-part walk. I'm sorry it was so short. For some reason, my internet connection was too slow when I was in the newer version of the cemetery so I couldn't really do anything this is the most popular section of uh, flat stones by the way you can see they start over there in the corner and they go all the way down on the edge and then this whole section is nothing but foot stones and some large stones mainly on the corners, there's your blue and stone, which is hard to, I'm sorry, it's coming in so black, the skies are changing. Uh, then we have Cabot, Chaput, and uh, Chenard is another big stone. Some more flats. 
And now we're getting into the residential section of the cemetery, so I shall end here. For those of you that joined me, thank you. Uh, again, follow me, and I will try to bring you on some other cemeteries eventually, or um, other stuff that I have coming up. So thank you for watching. Bye.